Carriages for a steam train. I've got seven different designs here. Today we are working on a first class dining car. To make a first class dining car, you will need the following materials. For the undercarriage, 26 grey or brown terracotta, four pistons, four levers, 32 nether brick stairs, 16 hoppers, eight dark oak fence, three grindstones, 66 dark oak planks, 44 dark oak stairs, and 20 dark oak slabs. For the body of the car, you will need 50 spruce trap doors, 38 dark oak trap doors, 72 birch trap doors, 4 birch doors, 132 smooth sandstone slabs, 44 smooth sandstone stairs, and 2 spruce slabs. And for the internal fittings, 18 dark oak trap doors, 46 dark prismarine stairs, 21 end rods, 23 pieces of white carpet, four lanterns, two dark oak doors, and two dark oak pressure plates. Let's start with the undercarriage. If you are building this next to another carriage, leave a one block gap between where you start and the last coupling. Place a waste block. On top of it, place one, two, three terracotta blocks, and behind it, 20 terracotta blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And at the end, 1, 2, 3. Now we're going to make buffers. Grab your pistons and put them either end of the terracotta bar. Put a lever next to each and flip it down to pop the pistons out. These buffers were designed by Crafty Fox. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. Do the same at the other end. We're going to place coupling links now. One grindstone at the front end, two grindstones at the back end, and you'll have to shift click to place the second grindstone. Wheels next. Doesn't matter which end you start at, it's exactly the same. Come to the end, leave a one block gap, and place right way up and upside down stairs, and repeat the same on the back. You'll get a cross shape. Pretend it's a circle, it's a wheel. Leave a one block gap and repeat. In the gap between the end of the undercarriage and the first wheel, place two dark oak stairs and put a dark oak slab top half between the two wheels. Do the same at the other end. To finish the bogies, take hoppers and put a hopper going into each of the right way up nether brick stairs on the wheels. And now between the two bogies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dark oak slabs. Repeat this entire setup on the other side. Now to finish the undercarriage, come on top of it and one, two, three dark oak planks and continue those all the way along the length of your undercarriage. And now on each side a row of dark oak upside down stairs. Leave the ends. That's your undercarriage done. Now we're going to make the ends of the carriages. Doesn't matter which end you pick, they're exactly the same as each other. We're going to grab a waste block and place one, two at each end directly above the buffers. Next to them, we're going to put dark oak trap doors. They'll place folded up because of the levers. Don't worry about that. Fold them down. And between them, a top half spruce slab. Now on top of your waste block and your dark oak trap door, place spruce trap doors. Come to the inside and place a birch door on top of your spruce slab. On the outside again, one, two dark oak trap doors and a waste block on top of the birch door. Now place one, two, three dark oak trap doors, remove the waste block and underneath the middle dark oak trap door place a birch trap door so that it folds down with the handle directly above the door. Fold all your trap doors up or down to form the end walls. Get 
rid of the waste blocks. One end wall, repeat the same at the other end. Let's work on the internals next. Come to the non-platform side of the train and from the front come in one, two blocks. On the third, facing to the front, one, two, three, dark prismarine stairs. I'm using dark prismarine because the LNER use dark green leather for their seating in first class. Leave a gap of one and place one stair. Facing these seats, one, two, three, and one. Repeat that, one, two, three, and one, one, two, three, and one. Now coming behind, we're gonna do one, two, and facing one, two. Repeat that three more times. Now across from this last seat, we're gonna go one, two, and two more facing, and we're gonna repeat that twice more. And this last little gap, we're gonna fill in with two single seats. So we end up with that arrangement. Now there's only two walls in this, one at each end of the eating compartment. So on this first row of seats, we're going to place one, two, three dark oak trap doors and three more on top. And one, two on this single seat, fold them up. And from this side, we're gonna place a dark oak door that opens against our single seat. Place a dark oak trap door on top of it and fold it up. Down this end of the carriage, we're gonna do a similar thing, but just with two and two. A door opening inwards and a dark oak trap door on top. Now for tables, I'm using end rods just because I like how they look. The fact that they provide light is a bonus. So place an end rod between each of your single seats and between each of your double seats. Here with the triple seats, place one either end and a dark oak pressure plate in between. And now place carpet on top of all your end rods and on top of your pressure plates. There's the dining car. Now if you want to reduce the amount of seating in place, maybe a little galley kitchen at this end, by all means do so. Now for the externals of the carriage. Come to the front end of the train, leave a one block gap and place a birch door so that it opens against the wall. Come to the other end and repeat that again so it opens against your internal wall. Place a waste block at each end. And now a spruce trap door on top of the waste block and a spruce trap door against each of the blocks going right the way along the length of the carriage, including the end rods. Knock out your waste blocks. Dark oak trap doors either side of the birch doors. Waste block on top of the birch door and then a birch trap door on the top edge of the waste block so that the trap door folds down with the handle just above the door. Get rid of the waste block. Now fill in all the rest of your gaps with birch trapdoors. Fold them all up to form walls and windows. That's your platform side of the carriage. Let's do the other side. At each end, place two waste blocks. On top of them, place spruce trapdoors and then place spruce trapdoors next to each block, including the end rods, all the way along. Remove the waste blocks. Now starting at either end, two dark oak trap doors leave a gap, two dark oak trap doors. Same at this end, 
two dark oak trapdoors, one block gap, two dark oak trapdoors. Fill in all the gaps with birch trapdoors. Fold them all up for walls and windows. And that's the non-platform side of the carriage. Roof next. Come to the inside and against these three dark oak trap doors, we're going to place one, two, three bottom half smooth sandstone slabs. Now extend those slabs all the way to the other end of the carriage. Alternatively, you could use smooth sandstone block, but slabs are more economical. And now this strip and this strip we fill in with smooth sandstone stairs right way up. Now on the top of the roof place a waste block on top of one of the stairs and then a smooth sandstone slab next to it, two more and fill in these three rows with bottom half smooth sandstone slabs. This not only finishes the roof but also spawn proofs it. One roof. Lighting to finish off, I put one in either corner at the end compartments. Because of the end rods, I don't light inside here, but if you want to for the look of the thing, go ahead. And two more there. Now one last thing, if you're joining this to another carriage, you can either join it with a spruce trap door or with a spruce slab. The choice is yours. That's our first class dining car done. If you want tutorials for more trains and rolling stock, there are end cards on the screen.